For Americans seeking health and how to be at the top of their game, we have an experiment. An experiment that shows portion control may be the key to it all. Here now is the newest member of the ABC News team, nutrition and wellness editor Dave Zinzenko, with real answers tonight. These college students don't know they are part of an experiment. They were asked to help ABC with a profile on their professor, Brian Wansink. He runs the Food and Brand Lab at Cornell University. Because we scheduled this around lunch, we serve a meal and measure out eight ounces of pasta for everyone. But listen closely to what this professor tells them as he casually mentions how much they'll get. We'll be serving you a double portion of pasta. A double portion of pasta? And the next group. We're going to give you a half portion of pasta. A half portion of pasta. And the next. Full-size portion of pasta. A good meal is had by all, but then. Hi, everyone. We let them in on our little secret. Works down. You guys, we're just part of a little experiment. Those who think they have regular portions, they ate it all up, except for her. She says it was too cold. And the ones who believe they're eating the half-size portion, they quickly join the Clean Plate Club. Yeah, I was looking for the other portions. <laughs> hey, where's my other half? The students who think they have a double portion all left some food. Double portion doesn't sound like a portion you should eat. And if you tell them that they've got a small size portion, they're, my gosh, I'm going to finish it all and I don't have to feel guilty. Professor Wansink says this explains a large part of the nation's obesity problem. We eat what we're served without thinking about how much is actually on our plates. And restaurants across the country serve huge portions. And some of the choices really pack on the calories. The deep dish macaroni at Uno Chicago Grill has almost 2,000. That's what the FDA says a healthy American should eat in a day. The lesson? Be careful. Sometimes your ears can be bigger than your stomach. Bottom line is the only person you should be listening to on portion size is yourself. You should use your own palm size as a guide, Diane, for your protein and your carbs at each meal. Your own palm, so you mean right in here? Your own individual palm, which Looking. is perfectly proportioned to your size as you... I have big hands, so <laughs> <laughs> that's maybe good news. But your palm size is the key. Yes, All right, sure that's is. helpful and simple.